We can define the plasticity of stem cells as the capacity to change fate when taken under experimental conditions from one tissue and put into another tissue. For example, you take stem cells from the bone marrow, put them in regenerating muscle and they will form muscle cells. But the same cells are also capable of forming brain cells when you put them into the brain. In any case, the change of fate is strictly regulated by the environment. The other important thing is that the cells actually reach functional mat maturity. We placed brain stem cells in contact with muscle cells and what happened was that the brain stem cells turned into muscle cells. They actually turned into fibers and they made new muscles. So they have completely reprogrammed their identity to go from brain to muscle and actually to functional muscle. This is done in a petri dish and it's done in a way that allows you to quantify the phenomenon, to say how many brain stem cells turned into muscle, which is approximately 10% of the, of the total stem cell population. Extensive studies in animals are required before a treatment for humans can be developed. But, once again, myths can be made reality. There is already an example of medical treatment by stem cells which has been used for 10 years. Patients suffering from leukemia, a cancer of the white blood cells, can today be treated by the transplantation of blood stem cells obtained from the placenta. This is now simple and routine. So, you're here to talk about donating placental blood. Once the baby is born, the midwife will collect the blood remaining in the umbilical cord. This blood was circulating in your baby. We therefore do not take blood either from your baby or from you. This blood contains stem cells, which are very young cells, with a strong potential for development. Indeed, they make it possible for platelets and white and red blood cells to develop in your baby, and therefore in the child who will receive them. So we're going to collect it into a small bag. There's about 80 milliliters on average, that's all. From that moment onwards, the blood bag cannot be traced back. It carries only the placental blood bank number, which it will retain throughout the process until it is frozen. The blood bags from which the cells are taken are stored at the blood bank of Hôpital Saint-Louis. They are used to graft fetal stem cells into patients from around the world. All of the patients hospitalized in this department are patients for whom the usual treatments, chemotherapy in particular, have not been sufficient to eradicate, that is, totally eliminate, the malignant cells in the bone marrow. The patient stays in hospital in a sterile room in which the air is filtered under pressure and everything that comes into contact with the patient must first be sterilized. Transplanting stem cells involves taking the graft, placing it in a bag like this, after thawing, and injecting it intravenously via this tube into the patient's bloodstream. These cells, introduced into the blood, display a homing phenomenon in that they migrate to fire small blood vessels to the bone cavities, where they find the environment they need to divide and multiply. It's from these cells, known as stem cells, that the blood constituents are produced. How about taking your temperature? Temperature in the ear, you mean? Like a cow? That's it. Just so I can put it in the report. Here we go then. Just like a cow. You don't have any trouble doing it yourself, do you? No, I'm not that useless yet, it's okay. 
Yes, you're the only patient who can do it himself. Really? Pretty much, yes. Why is that? Because the others are mostly children, so we have to do it for them. What about Darius? Is he a child? Yes, but he's not in a sterile room. The fruits of these labors have now made it possible to cure more than 50% of the patients. And cured means no clinical symptoms five years after transplantation. 36.3, that's fine. OK. Do you need my blood pressure? Yes, that would be good. Like that, it's all done, and I won't have to bother you again. In a different approach, more audacious solutions are being considered, using the womb of the mother as a natural sterile chamber. Scientists plan to graft stem cells from another fetus directly into the ill fetus, and this has a very low risk of rejection. <laughs> 